hey 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 babies and welcome back to my channel and today i will be doing a positive video if you want to increase your money step into your boss baby era okay because you as a boss ass bitch step into that rich girl era you've been going through like this lazy phase where you don't want to get up you don't have the energy to get up and do what you need to do get up and change your life around snap out of it sis continue on watching this video and i promise you will feel way better you will feel accomplished you will go after what you need to go after and yeah i love these little car videos honestly like every time i try to talk to y'all i like doing these little car videos okay for, for whatever reason but yeah so that's what we're getting into today because it's about to be a whole new year 2024 is literally like what we have one more month in this year and then it's over with so that means new blessings new new uh journeys new experiences okay we want this year to really really be our year and i know a lot of us always say that new year's resolution this year's our year no really let 2024 be your year let it be different okay really tap into yourself your energy your um your business your career whatever you have going on it is definitely time okay but yeah i'm actually really excited to touch on this y'all because a lot of you guys have been in my, been in my dms and y'all are like oh my god like how did you start your entrepreneur journey how did you start your youtube etc etc and yeah so let's get into it before we get into this video make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button to join my family i promise y'all are gonna love it here okay nothing but good vibes so make sure that you guys join i'm actually really excited to speak on this as well because um, but yeah i feel as if i went through a season um of being lazy bit procrastinating not feeling motivated enough to really like go after what i desire and i've never been like that like i've always been very motivated i've always known what i wanted a real go-getter y'all like a real hustler and the fact that i went through that phase in my life it was crazy like i was really in a funk where i didn't want to do shit like i was okay with settling i was okay because i was just down mentally i didn't have the energy to get up i didn't see past where i was at like i didn't see me going any further it was bad and i've never been like that so now that i'm out of it i feel comfortable enough to make a video for y'all um a lot of people look at me and they're like bitch you had a baby early like you had your baby early you're not gonna do shit them babies gonna hold you back and always ever since i've had a moral like my mindset always has been like who like i'm young but it's normal to still live your life it's normal to still handle what you need to handle okay like my kids are going to be straight i always had that mentality ever since i had a more i'm like bro fuck that like my kids are going to be good more than good so i've always wanted to beat them eyes beat the statistics because at the end of the day your life don't have to stop because you have a kid you know what i'm saying so yeah i was 15 when i found out i was pregnant with amora and i had no type of money coming in no type of money but i've always been a hustler like in school selling snacks you better ask somebody i was the snack girl okay like really sitting up here selling snacks making money making 300 400 a week just from selling goddamn snacks trapping out of school so when I had her and I was working, because y'all know my first job was at Freddy's, um, I hated that shit. I'm not gonna lie. I never liked the idea of working for somebody or working around their time. And then when I had got my checks, I'm like, what, what is this? Like, what am I gonna do with this? The fuck? Like, what am I gonna do with this? I just never liked that idea of working for somebody. That's just me. Everybody has different life paths and everything but that was me so i definitely just didn't like that um i just feel like nobody deserves to work and like spend all of your time into working a job that's paying you barely bare minimum and you're barely able to even wipe your ass with that money so yeah i just i wasn't feeling it um so what i did i saved my money ended up getting a heat press machine ended up investing in the vinyl um all of the legal fees for my business and i started my own business it was called luxury by Lachey, and i had my own heat press business um customizing shirts uh outfits just different things i'm gonna show y'all like some throwbacks of the work that i did but that was my first business and when i say that even though it was slow in the beginning i stayed persistent 
I prayed God opened up a pathway for YouTube and I just started learning more things about business and how to market and how to actually accumulate those orders that I needed to get and I started making money okay like on top of YouTube like aside from YouTube I really started making money and it just it motivated me it's just like damn like this is what I need this is what life is about for real like being able to work for yourself and not only work for yourself because not everybody wants to go through their mindset of working for themselves but working for myself and also making more than bare minimum like I'm able to buy what I need for my child as well as take care of bills for myself you know what I'm saying like splurge on myself that's like who wants honestly honestly this is just what I always think about like why would I sit up here and work living paycheck to paycheck you know what I'm saying? I'm not able to, I'm spending all my time working for these big companies and they're not paying me no real money. Like I have a family, I have a life and I'm very humble. I am very humble and I feel like that's why God continues on blessing me. Like even though God has blessed me tremendously, y'all, I've never been the type to like rub it in nobody's face or anything. I hate that. You know, I still try to pour into other people and help other people as well. So anyways, this is probably all over the place, but just listen because this is just my story like people have spoke down on me y'all um just about being a young mom and how i wouldn't be shit and like i'm not gonna lie even with family like when i was pregnant even though they probably never said it i still caught the vibe of like this girl not gonna do shit like she just okay but yeah she just had like she's about to have a baby and then she's gonna have another one like what so i'm not gonna lie at first it used to get to me mentally like it really used to fuck with me and i'm just like damn like what if I feel like what if I feel I have a child and she's relying on me and I'm scared but you can't be scared you have to go out there and really do what you need to do and I really just reflect and I'm just so proud of myself y'all like, it's just so many times that I could have gave up and just threw in the towel and said F it but I'm just so happy that God just was like nah I keep going like he it was just like that little thing on my shoulder that was like nah you need keep going like Amora is looking up to you you have family looking up to you you have kids looking up to you now so I'm just happy that um I was able to stay motivated you know what I'm saying because the devil comes to kill steal and destroy and there's so many times that I just was like no nah, I can't do this like it got too hard or like it, it certain things that I tried to do failed or like you know I was publicly embarrassed people laughed at me and it's just like damn keep going keep going like it's so easy to say fuck it when you get embarrassed or things fail or you publicly fail at something but as long as you keep going y'all you defeat all them eyes like you're looking the devil in his eye you saying baby stop playing with me like I got this for one my number one tip for one stay motivated I feel like if you're not right mentally you can't go out and really get what you want it all starts in your head if you have a plan a vision and a goal it makes it way easier for you to just stay motivated wake up with a purpose you wake up and you're like oh i gotta go get it because i have a plan i have a goal i know where i want to be so write down after this video if you have not already in your notes or on a piece of paper write down your goals what do you want for your life if you have a plan even though things never go as planned y'all like i didn't have so many plans that i wrote down and god was like no i'm gonna take you this route instead but at least know your goals and what you want to accomplish out of your life what you want to accomplish by the end of this year by the end of next year know what you want set your goals that's gonna help you stay motivated because you have a purpose you're like okay i'm getting up this is what i need to do okay like whether it's short-term goals long-term goals write that down because that's gonna help you stay motivated and stay in a good mindset of okay i gotta get my ass up and i gotta go get it stay motivated always have a motive behind all of your actions because that's going to push you even more like my motive my kids me just being expensive as shit and knowing like the type of lifestyle that i want that's what pushes me as well so um being able to do for myself as well as do for others like i just want to be in a really good position in my life so me knowing that and me knowing the type of life that i want to live the lifestyle that i would like that's what motivates me so write down your goals and like what's motivating you if you don't have anything that's motivating you them goals that end goal that's what needs to motivate you okay next it sounds cliche but i swear like this has been helping me get in shape 
if you don't have a gym membership, you can't get one, sis, run around the neighborhood. Run around the neighborhood. I promise, once you get in shape, it makes you feel so productive. It's something about working out and coming back, taking a shower and relaxing that makes you feel just productive. So get in shape. Even if you feel like you're already in shape, get your ass in the field okay go jog for at least a good 10 minutes 15 minutes step outside of your element go to the gym if you're able to get a gym membership or even if you have a gym inside of your neighborhood whatever the case may be work out sis take out that time for yourself oh excuse me so really get in shape use that time to like discipline yourself it's something about working out i don't know i can't put my finger on it but y'all it really does work and besides working out eat right like I'm, I'm the one to talk about eating right. So I still don't eat all the way right, but I eat better than what I used to. I used to just eat straight, just unhealthy shit. But like now, I'm actually starting to like balance it a little better. But that's besides the point, y'all. Get in shape. Even if I am eating unhealthy, I'm in the gym later on, or I'm jogging around the neighborhood later on. Okay, so it makes me feel better. It helps get you productive. It helps get your mind right. And just staying healthy. Like, if you look good, you feel good. Even if your goal is not to work out and you're perfectly happy with how you are, um, just discipline yourself. Like, go walk around the neighborhood. Get some fresh air. It's just something about working out and getting active that stimulates your mind, stimulates your body. So that way, you can also work towards your goals like me i get like usually when i'm more in school i get a little mirror and baby i put him in that stroller we be all around this neighborhood jogging I, at each stop sign i have it where i do like some squats or like a little workout i have it all planned out and then when i walk back to the house I just feel so accomplished, y'all, and it just boosts my energy for the day. If I feel like I'm having a lazy day, get I'd be like, you need to get your ass up. Go jog, okay? Just getting into the habit of that has definitely helped me tremendously, y'all. It has. Another tip, y'all, stay organized. You cannot go throughout your week, throughout your day, without your month or whatever, without knowing what you need to do. Um, me, I'm the type of person, I forget a lot. So, if it's somebody's birthday, whether it's somebody's birthday, an event, um, something I need to do, a doctor's appointment, I have to write it down in my calendar. So get, go to Walmart, go to Family Dollar, and get you a little organizer, even the ones that have like the calendar in it, a planner, whatever. Get one. It helps you stay organized. I promise, y'all. I promise, promise, promise. Write down what you need to do throughout the week. Um, get your get your shit in line. Like, somebody asks you, can you do this? Hold on, baby. Let me check my schedule, okay? But check it. Make sure that you're good. If you need, if you're a content creator, write down what days you're creating content, what days you're editing, what days you're posting, what days you're working. Create a schedule for yourself. If you are an entrepreneur, write down what days you need to ship off orders, what day you need to do this, what day you need to do that. Even if you're not an entrepreneur, and you work you know a job write down what days you work what days you're off what days you need to do this what days you need to do that stay organized okay stay organized that's how you get to plan and navigate through your life stay organized you will never be late for anything if you write down what you need to do when you need to do it and stick to that shit like you need to be somewhere at nine o'clock write it down set an alarm the day of do what you need to do okay it's no excuses we are grown now y'all it's time to handle business no need for you to be being late for anything no need for you to forget about important events things that's helping you elevate write it down if you're a mom write down your kids schedule as well write it down like Tay Tay needs to go to the doctor at this day this is appointment this day school this day parent teacher meeting this day write it down Write it down, write it down, write it down. So you can know what you need throughout your day to plan, how you need to plan and move around your schedule. Um, another thing, y'all, and people think I'm crazy for it, but I don't care. Manifest. Y'all live in a little bubble. Can't nobody pop it. This is my bubble and I'm living in it. Okay, if I feel like by next year I'm going to be in a fucking house, that I'm going to be driving my dream car, that me and my kids are going to be in, on an island in a few months, that's just that's how i'm living and i believe it if i believe that i'm gonna book this acting role if i believe that i'm going to get this job like it's all up here it's all in your mental 
produce that positive energy already see yourself in the situation that you would like to be in y'all like i swear to god manifesting is so powerful it's okay to live in a bubble it's okay sometimes it's okay to dream about what you want People be saying that shit corny, but no, it's not. Like, have a dream, live in it, manifest that shit, and it will happen. Okay? Like, I swear, I'm about to get right back into acting, y'all, because that was another thing that I used to do all the time. Like, I used to get different acting gigs, but, like, my first big role, I played Christina Milian's little sister, and I swear, when I went to the audition, at, before I even went to the audition, y'all, I had read the script, and I'm like, oh, this is me this is me they saying that they're shooting this in puerto rico for x amount of time i will be in puerto rico i even y'all i'm so delusional i started looking up different things to do while i'm in puerto rico and i didn't even go on the audition yet okay and guess what prayed on it manifested that shit i ended up getting that role i swear to god manifesting is so powerful you have to live in a positive mindset y'all like i understand shit happens life happens and it has you thinking like damn like negative things like is, is anything good gonna happen for me but live in a bubble sometimes i promise you live in a bubble it's going to elevate you it is going to make you more positive it sounds crazy but this works for me y'all let me know if it works for you but it's okay to like i said to live in a bubble plan out your dream life this is what you want for you this is what you want for your kids this is what you want for your life period live it out you want that job I got the job. I already say it. Speak it in the air. Speak it in the universe so it can reverse back to you. Speak out nothing but positive so that shit can come back to you. Y'all, manifestation is so powerful. Just speak what you want in the air and I promise it will come back. If your goals align with what God wants for you, it's going to come back. If it doesn't come back to you, something better is going to come for your life. What aligns with your life path and your goal, okay? So manifest, 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 I'm telling you. But yeah, it's definitely okay to be a little Delulu, okay? About your life, about what you want. It's okay. You feel like you're going to be a millionaire next year. You're going to touch your first 10 bands, your first 20 bands. Speak it. I already think about what you going to spend your money on, what you're going to invest in when you touch your first big check. You know what I'm saying? Speak that shit in the air. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. Another tip, y'all. So many people be so scared to step outside of the box, be themselves. They're scared that if they're different because what's inside of them, the content that they want to create, the job that they want to do, the idea that they have, they're scared that if they put it out there, they're going to fail. They're scared to be different. Let me tell you something. You cannot be scared to fail. I have failed so many times by putting something out there that I thought was going to probably do good. And that shit just went left. It, it didn't go as planned. You can't just look at that and be like, oh, fuck it. Like, I'm not going to get back up. You got to pick yourself up. This didn't work. Let me try again. Or this didn't work this time. I'm going to keep putting it out in different ways or keep different or keep trying different approaches to release what I want out in this world and it's going to work that's what happens with manifesting y'all like and living in a bubble a little bit because if you really sit up here and you think about damn like the times that you failed like this didn't work out for me you will be so distraught and you will not have the energy or the strength to pick yourself back up and be like okay let me let me really get right let me let me retry this let me do it again when i had first started youtube i was scared I was scared and I was getting different opinions opinions and a lot of people were like don't do it don't do it you're gonna be judged this is not a good image to put out don't sit up here and tell your story my auntie she's the one who told me like you know what I'm saying do it you need like do it do it everybody that I did speak to about it they didn't really give me like good feedback or they were like mm, it sounds okay and if I was the type of person to really just rely on other people's judgment and what they think will happen how they think I will fail how they think shit will go for me I would have never ever got this door open okay so stepping out I ended up making my video boom well, the first couple of days it didn't really do numbers at all like at all i probably had like 300 400 views on it and like honestly when i put the video out i really didn't expect it to just go viral but i really genuinely did it because i was just like damn like let me put out 
my story and how it happened to me and tell my story so other young girls could know like be careful yes you want to have a good time yes you you might love somebody and you might take it to the next step or whatever but be careful because babies can come out of this shit if you're not careful if you're not taking precautions if you're not using contraceptives whatever like i just told my story y'all my mama called me one day when she was at work and this was probably like a couple of weeks after I posted my video. And she said, Unique, go look at your video. Baby, I looked at that video because it got to the point where I just stopped checking it. Because I was just like, okay, okay. My numbers are sitting right now. Y'all, I checked it. That shit had 50,000 views. Refreshed it. A couple, couple of hours later, 80,000 views. 100,000. 150,000. 200,000. Like, that shit kept going up. Kept going up. And I'm don't get me wrong y'all a lot of negative people were on it because shit i was young i got pregnant i'm not rooting for teen pregnancy hell no i'm just telling my story so of course it was negative people on there like oh you think this shit cute this that and the third your mama failed this y'all all types of shit your daughter this what your daughter have to look up to when she gets older she gotta look back and look at this shit yeah she's gonna look back and she's gonna be like my mama did what she needed to do my mama was a real boss ass female okay and she made that shit happen okay you gotta use what you got to get what you want so when doors open when opportunities fly at you hop on it don't be scared do not be scared use your voice you see people in public that you want to work with don't be scared to talk don't be scared to network don't be scared to step out of your comfort zone okay because once you your your fear and your fear of failure your fear of being different your fear of just failing at what the fuck you're trying trying to do okay my mouth getting a little dry damn i need some water but your fear that's what's going to hold you back you don't need no setbacks walking into this new year you don't need no setbacks period you know what you want to accomplish you know what you want to do you know your goals don't be scared do not be scared if you fail and so what get back up try that shit again just don't be scared okay don't be scared be different be unique okay you know what i'm saying be unique be different and just go after what you want don't be scared scared money don't make money you have to be fearless you have to step out and just do different things like try different things don't be scared we ain't never scared we ain't never scared. okay like bitch you cannot be scared get out get in the field and do what you need to do today today like today every single day i swear like i try to work towards my goals even more even if it's something like little that i'm doing at least it's a step towards me reaching my main goal another important tip y'all and this kind of ties into uh staying motivated as well um but if you want to reach your goals surround yourself around people and i've said this before surround yourself around people that's doing better than you that's doing what you would like to do that knows a little more than you it's nothing wrong with surrounding yourself around them type of people because let me tell you that motivates you if you surround yourself like that shit kind of rubs off on you it definitely rubs off on you okay you see your friends buying properties they are finishing school doing just productive things whatever you want to do in your life you see your friends doing it or people that you associate yourself around it motivates you it pushes you a little more it gives you that extra push like bitch do what you need to do so yeah surround yourself around people not only does it motivate you but you get to learn something from them and like just being surrounded by a whole group of people that's on their shit y'all that's doing something in the type of area that you want to do it's just it helps it benefits you it benefits them because y'all all are learning from each other y'all are all pulling things from each other you're getting motivated you're learning what you need to learn you know what i'm saying you're surrounded by good genuine people that's in the same industry that you're in like it's nothing that beats that y'all like i'm so happy that i found my friends okay my girls i'm so happy and i'm still looking to like create new friendships new bonds like at first i was at a point and a place where i'm like nah i don't want to get to know nobody like fuck everybody i don't want to get to know nobody new but there's nothing wrong with like connecting with people and even if y'all not the best of friends just like plugged in and knowing different people and associating yourself with big people that's doing shit that you want to do or even on a whole different type of level y'all it's nothing wrong with that don't feel intimidated be motivated by that okay like that definitely makes a huge difference in your life um it's show season 
honestly it is like you have to believe it you have to feel it in your bones you have to really live by that and i promise like whether it's not your season this month and don't get me wrong it's some people like a lot of people feel um unmotivated or they feel let down because they're like damn like i've been doing this for years i have been producing content for years i've been at this job for years i've been you know just whatever they're doing and they're like damn like it's not working for me compared to some people like they literally were like an overnight success it it doesn't matter it does not matter god's timing is everything y'all it might have not been your season last year it might not be your season and the next couple of months or whatever the case may be but just know that it's coming so on your end you need to stay positive you need to stay prayed up you need to work towards your goals y'all and your breakthrough is going to come don't look in other people's lives and just feel down about your life like damn when is this gonna happen for me when is it gonna be my time be happy for people like yeah that's cool i congratulate you but my time is coming my time is coming okay that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to like give y'all a good refresher because like i said new year's is coming up um even if you you are working a job and you don't see past that like y'all get multiple sources of income one source of income is just not enough like i'm just letting y'all know now try to just tap into different things i know y'all are talented use your talents to make extra money on the side okay it's nothing wrong with that don't be scared don't be scared to put yourself out there try new things be fearless y'all stay motivated because you are a boss as bitch you are and i love that like i love just saying that and motivating other people because you are period i like i said i was a young mama shit still a young mama and people always look down on me but i always surpassed all of the negative shit that people said about me and i always prayed and made things happen y'all like always okay being a hustler baby but i love y'all so much if you guys have any questions or if you guys want me to touch on anything else just leave it in the comments motivate other girls in the comments okay tag or share this video with somebody that you know needs that extra push to get up out the bed okay forget all of the negative things that's going on in your life situations that's holding you down get up use that as your motivation and your strength to get up okay i love y'all so much make sure that you guys subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye y'all